The Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6E Mesh System is Netgear's top-of-the-line router system that includes the bleeding-edge Wi-Fi standard Wi-Fi 6E. I've been using the system Netgear sent me for over six months now, and its performance has been incredible. So I'm gonna take you through why that is, some of the downsides I found using this system, why not all Wi-Fi 6E mesh systems are equivalent, and who I think this system is ultimately for. First, let's talk performance. This mesh router system easily handles the almost 100 devices I have on my network at any given time, which older routers that don't even have Wi-Fi 6 will often struggle with. I've never had an issue with Wi-Fi speeds with this router on any device, and the range of this network has been incredible. I'm easily able to pump out enough Wi-Fi signal across the street to my garage so my car can download software updates over Wi-Fi, even with the garage door closed. And for the few Wi-Fi 6E devices you might have in your home, the speeds are nothing short of superb. That's because Wi-Fi 6E routers include a new 6 gigahertz band that Wi-Fi 6E devices can connect to, and this band can have faster speeds and often has less congestion since Wi-Fi 6E is still a pretty new standard. In fact, with this router system, I've hit speeds over Wi-Fi I've never even experienced before at my home. Over 400 70 megabytes per second, which for the non-fiber service I have at my apartment is really fast. And if you're unfamiliar with Wi-Fi 6E or mesh routers versus traditional routers, you should check out the explainer video I did on how to get better Wi-Fi. It takes you through all the differences between all the new Wi-Fi standards, and you can get to that video by clicking here in this video or checking out the link in the description below. And if you want to see more six months later reviews like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Next, let's talk hardware. The Orbi 6E router hardware design is solid. Even though these routers are a bit big and maybe a bit ugly, they certainly are not as pleasant to look at as the routers from Eero and Nest. But I've had issues with both the Nest Wi-Fi and Eero router systems in the past compared to the Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E versions of the Orbi system, where with those systems, I haven't had any issues with performance. So perhaps the hardware being bigger allows for a better antenna design. The main router has a 10 gigabit port on the back, and I like that both routers and the Wi-Fi points with this system have several Ethernet jacks on the back, which gives you flexibility in how to set up your network. You can just hardwire Ethernet to each router and mesh point. So that's everything I've liked about this system over the past six months. Now, I know it doesn't feel like I covered a ton in this section with what I like about this router system. For me, when it comes to a Wi-Fi network, I just want to be able to plug it in, have it give me the speeds I need, and then get out of the way. And the Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6E mesh system, it accomplishes that for me. But by going with this system, there are a few downsides that you should be aware of. The first downside is the app Netgear puts out for the Orbi system. Its design is just okay, but definitely not as nice as the ones from Eero or Google. Some parts of it are just slow to load and overall could just use a visual design overhaul. Features like the network map lack polish, and this app doesn't really make you feel like you spent a ton of money for this router system. Another major downside with this router system is paywalls. Now, the three pack I got from Netgear is already incredibly expensive. It typically retails for 1500 US dollars, which yes, is insane for a Wi-Fi router system. And we'll get into whether or not I think it's worth the price in a second. So you're already paying an insane amount for incredible Wi-Fi performance and then on top of that, Netgear wants to charge you more for features that other Wi-Fi routers include for free, like parental controls. Netgear charges anywhere from 50 to 70 US dollars a year for their parental control features like downtime for your kids' devices, blocking specific websites, giving your kids extra Wi-Fi time as a reward, and more. I think it's ridiculous given the cost of this router system that Netgear is charging for these features. They should be free for the life of the router system if you purchased it at this price, period. And the charges 
they don't stop there. They have another service called Netgear Armor, which is a cyber threat protection service for your home's internet. Now, to be fair, it's more common in the market for Wi-Fi routers to charge for a service like this, and it's also a service that most people don't actually need, but still. Let me know down in the comments below, if you purchased a router system like this at that price, would you be willing to spend more money on a subscription service to unlock certain features for the router? The next downside I found with this system is setup. It just takes longer than competing router systems, especially Eero routers, which still have the fastest setup I've ever experienced on a router system. The last downside I've found with this router system involves power blips. So when the power doesn't go completely out, it just goes out for a split second, comes back on, that situation. And when that happens, I've noticed some devices on your Wi-Fi network will then start to have issues with the Wi-Fi network. They'll go off the network for like a minute or two, come back on, and then they'll just do it again maybe an hour later. And this is especially noticeable with my Nest Hub because photos will stop displaying on it and it'll give me an error message. Doing a soft reset of both the router and the modem, just, you know, unplugging them, replugging them back in, that always fixes this issue for me with my Orbi routers. But it's weird because this is an issue that I've experienced only with Orbi routers and not the Nest and Eero routers I've had in the past. So those are all of the downsides I've encountered with this router system. Now let's talk about recommendations. I do recommend getting this system if what you're looking for is unmatched Wi-Fi performance with a mesh router system and you want that mesh router system to be a Wi-Fi 6E mesh system, which will help you future-proof your Wi-Fi router for several years. And this router system is unique compared to the competition because it has quad band technology. These Orbi routers reserve a dedicated five gigahertz Wi-Fi band as a backhaul for the routers to communicate between themselves and no other Wi-Fi traffic is allowed on that dedicated band. Band. I think that feature is probably why this system has such great performance. So if you're willing to spend the money, you do get what you pay for in terms of performance. But let's say you need a Wi-Fi upgrade, but you don't want to spend that much, which is incredibly reasonable given the insane cost of this system. So for most people, my recommendation would actually be to go for the Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. A two pack of that system currently runs for 300 US dollars on Amazon, and I've even seen renewed versions go for as little as 200 US dollars. You will miss out on the six gigahertz band, but given that most of the new tech that came out in 2022 did not support Wi-Fi 6E, it's still likely that we're one to two years away from mainstream adoption of the 6E standard. So for most people looking for a Wi-Fi upgrade that don't already have a Wi-Fi 6 mesh router system, I'd go with the Orbi Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. I've owned this system now for a little over a year before Netgear sent me the 6E system. And like the 6E system, its performance was exceptional and it has tri-band technology, so you'll still get that dedicated five gigahertz connection between the routers I talked about earlier. I'd personally only consider the Wi-Fi 6E version of the Orbi system when the two pack of the routers hits somewhere around 500 US dollars. At that price, then I think if you want to future-proof your Wi-Fi setup a little bit more, it'd be worth it to go for the 6E system over the 6. I've left purchase links here in this video and in the description below, so you can check out the most current price of the routers I talked about. And if you're interested in learning more about the Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 system, the Eero router system, or the Nest router system, I've left links to all of the videos we've done on each of those routers in the description below. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel to see more long-term reviews like this one. And if you want to further support our mission and the channel and get a few extra perks like having your questions directly answered in a video like this, hit that join button to learn more about our Six Club membership program. And if you want to watch something else, check out some of our other long-term reviews on tech products by clicking on the playlist to the right. For six months later, I'm Josh Tedder. Thanks for watching.